Sydney Morning Herald newspaper, they stated that one in three porn viewers are women. I want you to imagine this for a second. Women are also addicted to pornography just like men? When I was first approached by a sister confessing her addiction to me, I was literally frozen and I couldn't utter a word. Later on, I came to know that pornography does affect women in great ways too. In most cases, in much more dangerous ways than men. We know now that a large number of statistics have shown that a greater number of men most likely to view pornography than female. However, a significant growing number of female users has been noticed to be on the rise as well. Not only that, but in many cases, the way how women view and engage in pornographic acts is quite different and greatly dangerous, as I will be clarifying in a while. Men are very straightforward. They search the web, get the images they wanted, masturbate to it, and end of the story. However, women, and according to multiple studies, prefer cyber sex relationship instead of viewing regular pornographic films and images. They are after developing connection with someone instead of a solo access to nude images. And there comes the danger. Statistics have shown that more women tend to take their activities offline than most men. I've been counseling a sister who has been addicted to pornography long before getting married. But the issue is, after marriage, she wasn't able to quit. She did her best, she tried all she can, but she failed to remain sober for longer than two weeks. This is not the end of her problem. The biggest trauma of her life that she had to go through is when she has committed zina with a man other than her husband. And how long did it take her to commit this shameful act after her marriage? Seven months only. That's why I mentioned earlier that although more men are viewing pornography than women, we have seen that women's use of pornography is different and in most cases more dangerous. My dear sisters in Islam, I know you do not wish to end up your life in this misery. And I know that you hate every second you are out of control and being overpowered by your addiction. But as you can see, pornography for you will not remain as an individual and secretive act for so long. It takes shorter time for you to fall into one of the gravest sins we have been warned against by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet, peace be upon him. So take a decision to seek out a professional counselor or a coach who can help you get rid of your addiction in order to enjoy your life with your family peacefully, shamelessly, and focus on pleasing your creator instead of feeding your growing desire.